What's up everybody, Steven Zekiel here bringing another reaction and today we're checking out some more Super Dragon Ball Heroes Even though it still goes up and down on being good and somewhat somewhat, somewhat bad but We're still checking out the newest episode uh, Last episode was actually not that bad. I enjoyed last episode. They had a form for Vegeta a, uh, a, a Reminiscence of uh, Majin Vegeta in last episode where instead of of course the one biggest difference is no M on the forehead but it's basically evolution blue or not evolution blue but Super Saiyan blue version of Majin Vegeta and it looks cool it has a dark aura uh, on top of the regular blue aura and then there's also the fact that he has the same eye uh, shadow effect that he had when he was Majin Vegeta dark corruption but he's still himself which he showed that off during the battle against Cumber and uh, Turles, which by the way, Turles with fucking Raditz hair, what the fuck? Like, when when the fuck did he grow his hair so fucking long? Uh, and uh, yeah, it was a very interesting episode, and there's also Goku Black has returned, and he went rosé and fought Goku in the background, we didn't really get to see much of that fight at all, and at the end of the episode, when Vegeta turned to see Goku Black holding a knocked out what looked like the knocked out Goku so yeah that was a that was a way to end the episode and just like all these episodes they're only about seven to eight minutes they're very short uh, not a lot of time to put into these videos uh, like animations like that sometimes can be up and down I always look for when animation really does show improvement um, and also recently on Twitter uh, and YouTube, they did drop a 28 second promotional uh, Dragon Ball Super like video. At first, I thought it was fan made. Not gonna lie, I thought it was fan made stuff. But apparently, that's real footage, and that could lead to us getting Dragon Ball Super to come back soon, which would be hype as fuck. And that 28 seconds looks better than I ever imagined because they took the Super Dragon Ball, not Super Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super Broly art style and literally used more of it. We got to see Gohan in that style, we got to see more characters in that style, and man did it look so fucking fire. Comment question for you guys, let me know down below. If the entirety of the next season of Super Dragon Ball Heroes, not Super Dragon Ball Heroes, Dragon Ball Super, sorry, uh, is in that style How excited are you guys gonna be like me? I am all for this style of art like it looks fantastic Is it up there with my favoritism of like Cell Saga to uh, uh, Majin Buu style I still absolutely love that style but I think this style from Dragon Ball Super Broly is better than most of Dragon Ball Super's art style from the very beginning to about Term to Power. I would I would say I really didn't care for the art style of Dragon Ball Super as much up until I guess like those really really polished moments of course from the Tournament of Power. Those were fucking fantastic, but a lot of a lot of the art style from the beginning of Dragon Ball Super to the end didn't really care for it too much and I really think this Dragon Ball Super Broly movie art style is fan fucking fantastic and works so well it is different but it's a good different let me know about, down below if that is the case and you guys are hyped for that let me know um, I will be watching this of course uh, with subtitles on and everything when I have the volume very low so if you guys want to enjoy this video to the fullest definitely go check it out on your own but we are still on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and I know we can do it based off of this right here, showing 77% of you guys watching are not subscribed. Now, we're gaining closer and closer to our goal of 100K by the end of this year. Every day, we're getting closer and closer, and I know we can hit it based off that percentage. Because 77% of you guys watching are either new 
or returning viewers. Now, if you're a brand new channel, welcome to the channel. How you doing? Thank you for clicking on this video. Check out more content on the channel and hopefully hit that subscribe button today. And if you're returning, welcome back to the channel. How you doing? Thank you for clicking on another one of my videos. Hopefully this is the one that you hit that subscribe button today. Super Saiyan Rose versus Ultra Instinct. A great planet shaking battle. I'm hyped to see this and uh, let's get into this and enjoy it right now. Now, I always talk and pause during these videos, and also will be putting background music, but I will have still some of the volume up for you guys to hear, but not too much. Yeah, see, there we go. That's what we got. We got Goku being held by his throat. I still gotta say, that look for Vegeta, this, I really do, because that's this is what I was talking about. This, like the way his eyes are drawn right here, Maj, like legit Maj and Vegeta look. Okay, Vegeta, you going into action. Let's go. Now, my question is, do you guys, how powerful do you think this form is for Vegeta? Like, in a sense, how much more powerful is this? Is this on the same level or higher than Evolution Blue? Because it is regular Super Saiyan Blue with just an extra boost into the power. Damn. Across various timelines. So he went through what he went through and just fucking beat the shit out of other versions of Goku. Okay. It kind of looked like from what they were doing is Boo Saga, Battle of Gods Goku, and then Resurrection F Goku. Weaker versions of Goku that he had a fight. Yeah. This fu Wait! He wait! He's fought over a hundred different Gokus now? What the fuck? Oh, fuck, no, Vegeta. It's not looking good. Such a fucking fire, fire transition to him being into MU, uh, not MUI, UI. That is such a fire intro for it. Yo, yo, that's like thumbnail. I'm probably going to use that for thumbnail use. <laughs> Not only that, though, he's also getting a kind of a... Uh, Rosé's getting a power boost because of the mask, too. He's never fought a Goku that's gone UI. And he still hasn't fought MUI. <laughs> no fucks given. Let's go. Damn. 
damn. Let's go, Goku. If you can still become stronger, so can I. You know, that's actually kind of a scary thought. If if Goku Black actually was able to tap into UI as well, that's actually kind of terrifying. Okay. Did this motherfucker just try to pull a Frieza? But he didn't look like he went for the core. He just looked like he just cut up the surface. He... Wait, where's also Turles? Well, you're on the planet too. If they can't, you know, let's be 100% here, and this is kind of BS, but they're so powerful and their durability is so high that, yes, the vacuum of space would probably hurt them because of oxygen reasons, but the explosion of a planet really, I don't think, should hurt. Goku, Vegeta, and whatnot. They are way too tough. Wait! What the fuck, Cell? I saw the shows and I was not like, I was, what? What? Why is Cell here? And now Turles is helping? And Cell helped Goku with Vegeta? What the fuck is going on? The Majins? Did I call Majin Vegeta on mistake? Like, are we gonna get Majin Vegeta? What if we get like a Majin Goku <laughs> power up, but he's like able to control it? So this bitch ass did pull a Frieza. Okay. But where did they go and why is Cell helping? How come you're back? And let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Cell, I, at this point in time, unless he trained, like, at any point in the underworld, I guess, he, he wouldn't be a threat. Goku and Vegeta should be like, what the fuck are you doing here? We'd sneeze and kill you. It's the same as that guy. Majin's collaborator. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Don't rush into it. Oh, fuck. Who are these guys? Don't do this. Let me see who they are. You son of bitches! <laughs> God damn it! Why end off that? That was a good cliffhanger. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Can I get any in indication of who these fuckers are by their shoes?
That looks like Goku. This looks like Goku's outfit. Like, this is the same as his pants there. And these are also, looks like these are the blue uh, versions of the shoes. This might be another version of Goku. Maybe this could be Gohan as well. Because also Gohan has worn this outfit. That'd be interesting if Gohan went and got Cell. But yeah, this is definitely Goku's outfit. I'm not sure if this is another Vegeta. I can't tell. It's also baggy. Well, it could be Gohan and Piccolo, maybe. I don't know. Comment down below. Who do you think these mystery motherfuckers are going to be? But either way, uh, what is the next episode's title? Let's see. Warrior in Black versus Goku Black. The dark plot becomes clear. Alrighty then. Very interesting uh, episode entirely. Uh, we didn't get much more time in that form for Vegeta like I was hoping. Uh, UI Goku coming in and uh, and smacking Goku Black around a little bit was cool. Uh, was a little short though, but I can't complain because these episodes are super fucking short. Uh, Cell out of nowhere is another mind fuck what the fuck moment. Uh, I enjoyed this episode actually. It's still not like up there as like holy fuck balls. Yes. But it is it is a decent episode. I'll I'll, I'll give this at least a, like a seven out of ten. Uh, this was a very solid episode. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching my video once again. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Let me know when the next episode is, uh, because I want to definitely see the next episode as soon as possible. Hopefully within the next month we get another episode of this. I'm hoping. Uh, if you guys know the next release date, let me know ASAP. This was awesome. Thank you for watching and once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, later! This is the Prince of the Motherfucking Saiyans, and I am ordering you to subscribe to Steven Z. Killer!